Uh-oh, villains are everywhere on Earth. Why they showed up all at once, we'll never know. What we need is a hero. Hopefully one that doesn't wear their underwear on the outside. Time to step up, scientists! Down in the lab, they're already busy selecting the best bits of DNA nature has to offer. The plan? Take the best bits from different animals and mix it all into the ultimate all-natural superhero serum. Superheroes are fast, very fast. Nature's hero needs quick reflexes, and none compare to the long-legged fly. When startled, this fly has a response time of less than 5 milliseconds. If you tried to photograph this little guy, it would come out blurry 9 times out of 10. Hey, must be camera shy. But being able to dodge out of a photo might not be the exact skill our hero needs. How about some DNA from one of the smartest invertebrates? I'm talking about lightning-fast reflexes and amazing reaction skills. Octopuses <laughs> are one of nature's greatest escape artists. They're even smarter than some humans. Hmm, maybe a lot of humans. Each octopus has three hearts and nine brains. Oh, and it hates wearing a suit to work. Every arm, they're actually not tentacles, has a brain of its own, with a central donut-looking brain controlling the body as a whole. That means each arm can move around like its own person. It can react faster than a pro baseball player, even with eight gloves. But that's not all the octopus can give our hero. They, along with cuttlefish, have sweet camouflage skills. Their skin can match the color, texture, and pattern of their background. Hide and seek champions, members of that family, so basically squid, cuttlefish, snails, slugs, and the super genius octopus are actually colorblind. Scientists are as confused as you are. What makes these creatures unique is that they have light-sensing cells all over their skin, not just in their eyes. Imagine being able to see with your entire body. 360 vision, not bad for a superhero. Super strength is the next challenge, and the dung beetle's ready to step up. It can pull over a thousand times its own weight, so relative to body weight, it's the strongest animal out there. That's like you hauling around 13 elephants, or 35,000 chihuahuas. Hey, where'd all those dogs even come from? The dung beetle makes it look easy. Plus, it moves objects around by doing a handstand. Our hero definitely needs that. Time for protection. If you're expecting nature to lend us pangolin or armadillo skin DNA, you'd be way off. Nature's hero needs to be agile, too. The best bet is to mix in some camel skin DNA. It's a desert animal, so it makes sense that its skin is ridiculously tough. It can withstand the burning hot desert sand and the blazing hot sun. At least, scientists didn't choose whale skin, even though it's the toughest by far. Having skin over a foot thick might give a superhero great protection, but getting through a door would be a real problem. There's two main things that life needs in order to survive. Oxygen and water. Our hero shouldn't have to worry about that kind of stuff, especially if villains are around. Scientists decide to mix in a little Bornean flathead frog and thorny devil lizard DNA. That way our hero won't ever have to stop by the convenience store for some bottled water. The flat-headed frog doesn't need lungs. Its body absorbs oxygen through its skin. Being so flat gives it a huge surface area. It isn't exactly the most efficient way to get oxygen, so it's a good thing the frog doesn't need to move around too much. The thorny lizard can give our hero protection, but it's also got a clever water transportation technique. It sucks up water through its feet, so it never needs to stop for a drink. Just like a sponge, the water defies gravity and gets sucked upwards. So nature's hero just needs to step on something wet instead of carrying a bottle around. Being a superhero is hard work and takes time. We don't need our hero stopping for a taco every couple of hours instead of saving the world. The green sea slug drifts around shallow waters, trying to find itself some delicious algae. Once it's had its fill, it's done. For months, or even forever. It's one of the only animals on Earth that can photosynthesize, that thing that plants do to get energy. It's basically its very own solar battery. 
it doesn't need to stop and eat all the time like us, which also saves a whole bunch of bathroom time. No more bathroom breaks for the new breed of nature's heroes. Pop some of that DNA in the mix for sure. All superheroes have some sort of super speed. Nature's hero needs just that. Time to talk flying speed. The peregrine falcon can easily reach speeds of up to 55 miles per hour flapping their wings. Not exactly lightning fast, but their true speed lies in their dive. The falcon spots its target at a distance, does some quick calculation, and drops it over 200 miles per hour with pinpoint accuracy. These birds have evolved their bodies to be totally aerodynamic. When they dive, they're still able to breathe through their nose and see their dinner. They've got a rod and fin in each nostril to slow the airflow. Their eyes have special shields that block out any dust. And bam! Dinner is served! Now, diving that fast is great, but nature's hero needs to fly straight as well. We're going to need to add in some great maneuverability. That calls for a very special flyer, but it isn't a bird. The Brazilian free-tailed bat hardly weighs anything, but that doesn't stop it from being the most agile flying creature. Reaching speeds of up to 100 miles per hour in horizontal flight, this little mammal is nature's acrobat of the sky. Definitely gonna need some of that. Lightweight and agile, the perfect combination for nature's hero. Plus, a bat's biosonar vision might come in handy for some late-night crime solving. We have speed and strength. What a combo! But what a real hero needs is a bit of wham power. Nature's hero is going to need the power of the mantis shrimp. It has a punch force of 340 pounds. That's like having a panda fall on you. It has a jab speed of 50 miles per hour underwater, which is so fast it actually makes a shockwave. If the fist doesn't get you, the shockwave will. Its wing is so powerful and fast, it can actually boil water. Nature's hero is also going to need a big dose of the fastest jaw in the world. The trap jaw ant can close its jaws at an amazing 140 miles per hour. That's 2,000 times faster than you can blink and faster than I can read this. This bite isn't only for protection, they also use it to make a stylish gadget its very own ejector seat. When it bites the ground at warp speed, it can launch one and a half feet into the air. Now, that doesn't sound very high, but when they do it as a group, ant popcorn everywhere. Scale that up to human size, and nature's hero would have a serious vertical leap. Nature's got our hero set for survival, flight, speed, camouflage, never needing to use a public toilet, jumping with its mouth, Drinking water out of a puddle? Hmm, what other powers would nature's hero need? What about durability? To give our hero the best chance of survival, we need to mix in a big spoonful of tardigrade DNA. This tiny thing only lives about two years when not exposed to extreme conditions. Not exactly a world record. So what makes it so special? This little creature's been found all over the planet in some seriously extreme locations. Antarctica, the Sahara Desert, even on Mount Everest. It can even survive being in space, with no spacesuit. Astronauts put them outside their space station for 10 days. No water, no oxygen, no food. How did they survive? Well, they can turn on hibernation at will. So when the going gets tough, they just slow their body functions way down. Until someone's kind enough to let them back in the space station. A little tardigrade DNA, and nature's hero would be able to survive anything. Ah, the perfect superhero DNA serum. Hopefully, this recipe doesn't get into the wrong hands. <laughs>